This is our family and this is our van life adventure. If you'd like to follow on with all of our adventures, don't forget to like and subscribe. This week we're trying to get on top of some jobs. We get a bucket list tick off we didn't expect and someone's giving Oliver explosives. We have woken up on the leaving day at Camper Van Camp Out and the rain has arrived. We've actually been really lucky with the rain considering the forecast was not yeah. good, was it? Yeah, it, it was, was not great and the rain has, it's had like little spatterings of it at times but generally it's really held off and uh, but it seems to have just, the heavens have opened this morning. But we have to go anyway. I'm just hoping we can drive off the field. This is one of those times when I am very grateful we do not have a ton of external pack up to do, though I am concerned <laughs> that trying to get a van of this weight off this field is going to be tricky. Relieved that we have managed to escape the waterlogged field. Thank goodness for all terrain tires. Wow. I thought we might sink. Turns out it wasn't the field that was going to be the problem. No, nope, it was the gridlock motorways in front of us. You want to know one of the good things about van life in the UK? And they close the road and you are stuck in this for who knows how long. You get to make a cup of tea. So we are back at a campsite that we've, we've stayed at quite a lot actually because it's really convenient when Perry's working and it has this lovely woods behind it um, and we have had a really chill morning so far today but the kids are getting really really antsy and one thing I would say that for me anyway I actually find it easier to parent outside and that was true in the house as well getting them out and running around in nature and in the woods is way easier than keeping them in, especially when they start to wind each other up. Massive ladybird. Oh yeah. On the nettle. That's huge. It's a big one, isn't it? Okay. You okay, Ollie? Mum, there's a spider right next to it as well. Oh, yeah. So I've given the boys a super indulgent day today. They've not had any real restrictions on screen time. The only kind of thing I've asked them to do is to go out for that walk. And they've come home, they've had showers. And now... What's happening now, boys? Spa time. Spa time. Oh, I almost forgot. Go on. You want cucumbers on the eyes? Yeah. So oh, I just want to try it. It's all back to normal tomorrow, but today I am allowing allowing indulgence and self care. A bit of self care. Self care and indulgence can't last forever, though. We've got jobs to get sorted. So we have popped into town, and finally, after two months with no phone, my phone is sorted. So shout out to the store staff in EE, in Welling Garden City. They sorted me in right out. Also, while we have been away, the boys have kind of like powered through their English and maths books. So English and maths are the two things that I really try and make sure that we um, kind of do like academic type work for. Uh, so we are just on the hunt to top up our supplies because we have run very low my favorite stop for school supplies is wh smith i've found their books to be some of the best for actually clearer learning and easy to follow and keeping the kids on track with their education so they don't fall behind so we've, we've had a little stock up into the work Got some activities we're gonna do Let's have a look. Dino Smash. 
Oh, maybe use a chisel. I use the chisel. Wow, you're really getting into it. Looks like it. Chalk. What? What? Chalk it out. You did it? Yeah. Show me what did you get? This one. So so far I've got plenty to turn a meat eater. The planty's a bit dirty. Anyways, we can wash them. They need a wash. Yeah, I'm gonna go wash them. Yeah, they look yeah. good. We're giving ourselves a gentle return back to van life in the UK. It's easy to take England for granted and think it's boring in comparison to everywhere else we travel. But sometimes it might surprise you. You can get a text in the middle of the night and run outside in your pyjamas to see the northern lights. That's a bucket list tick I wasn't expecting. Unfortunately, the novelty doesn't last long because there's still more jobs to be done. So we've got a few small issues that need to be dealt with. Our trim is coming away a little bit and we're getting some damp and a slight bit of delamination. So our plan today is to remove the trim, clean off the old sealant if there's any still left and reattach it. Um, you know, and see if we can improve what's here. This is what we're up against. All the sealant and mastic has failed before. So we're gonna redo this and try and get it watertight again. Um, I've got some mastic sealing tape that, we, that we're gonna put on and then reattach the um, corner trim and then finish off with um some uh s massive sealant as well so hopefully that will just buy us enough time to carry on living in the van enjoying ourselves um and then yeah we'll uh, have to address this problem another day one of the issues on this american rvs especially the old one i've probably got like a 10 mil corner piece which considering how much you must move on a rocky terrain there's not much uh, play in that whereas if you look at the, the modern caravan you know you get a nice wide 50 mil corner piece hunky dory but that's all i've got to play with unfortunately on these old vans is is that tiny little lip there which doesn't really bode well i guess but hey ho so we're on day two now, doing the right hand side. Scraped all the old muck out. And then we're gonna put the new stuff on. And hopefully that'll be us watertight for a little while. I'll show you the other side that we did yesterday. Got a nice clean bead here, all the way up. So hopefully that again sees us for a few rainy days. It's not long before our rest and recover and jobs week is finished and it's back to homeschool for me and work for Perry. I need it. Yes, I do. Fuck you. So it's a fuck. 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 Nest milk. But just because the big adventures are done doesn't mean we're not going to make the most of the weekends. Oliver. Where are we going? Do you know where we're going? We're going to the Science Museum! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Uh, you need two. What are you most excited about today, mate? Probably seeing one. Probably seeing five. Is that what you're most excited about? Yeah. Puff and Billy. Oh, yeah! We can go see Puff and Billy. Holly's reenacting when we came out of the toilets in Morocco. For some context, this is how we first saw monkeys in Morocco. <laughs> That was exactly what it was like. The train finally arrives and we are on our way. There's always something exciting about travelling in a train. From the train to the tube. I swear we don't normally drive this long. You alright little mate? Bully Bobby? You alright? And we have made it. We are in South Kensington. Though we still have the walk to go. 
London Underground is also. So after an hour and a half journey and a bus, a train and a tube, we've made it to the Science Museum. For our first stop of the day, we are heading upstairs to the Wonder Lab. Now, most of the Science Museum is free, but the Wonder Lab does have to be paid for. But it is absolutely amazing. Hiding behind the rainbow wall is a world filled with hands-on experiences, demonstrations and shows. It can get super duper busy in here, but we came on a Sunday morning and it was great. It was really quiet. Hmm, let me see, where should we go on our next trip? Magic ball, show us where to go. Needless to say, the slides exploring friction were very popular. <laughs> and there's plenty for the adults to be entertained by and involved with as well. What can you hear? I can hear through my mouth. <laughs> You can hear through your mouth. That's so weird. What song was they playing? Some sort of rap. Yeah. Three legs. If you are visiting the Science Museum in London, especially the Wonder Lab, make sure you get here early and give yourself the whole day. The interactive exhibitions are brilliant. One, two, three. And if you get fed up of the exhibitions, which I doubt, they also have loads of demonstrations and interactive shows that allow you to get a deeper look at the science behind the experiments. <laughs> Just know if you do go and watch the shows, there's every chance that they are going to call your five-year-old up to handle fire and blow stuff up. Now, do you remember my little hot rain pipe bomb? Yeah, we're going to recreate that here. Yes, they I'm said pipe bomb. Little tunnel to channel forwards. And popping the back, so you don't lose any momentum through the back. And to protect you guys, I have the safety shield. A shield. Yes, sorry, in case things go flying forwards, you don't get hit. Alright, I think my lighters. Okay, come here to the subject C. What we're going to do is, I'm going to light these candles, and they're going to light your candle around here. We're going to pop your candle into there, okay? But only once it's lit, okay? Audience, plug your fingers in your ears in case it's a wet fart or a gunshot. Let's see. And keep an eye on the candles. Let's see if you blow them out. Make a wish, everyone, but don't tell what your wish is. Okay, good. Test subject C. A countdown. A. Three. Three two. two one. one. Let's light this. And yes, I had to sacrifice my hearing for about 20 minutes to film this. The Wonder Lab was absolutely brilliant and I highly recommend it. So after having lunch, we had spent so much time there, we only had a little bit of time to explore the rest of the Science Museum, which I guess just means we're going to have to come back another day. Of course, we managed to wangle in a little stop in the space room a stop in the garden and a little stop to see Puffin Billy. And then we're off. We're heading home, tired but happy. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye. Goodbye.